force could not pick up a first down on their first possession. They were forced to kick it away to Vanderbilt. And now Vandy will start from their own 25. Whit Taylor, the quarterback, number 10, and he likes to put it in the air. And he will do so on first down. Down the middle he goes. It's nearly intercepted and broken up at the 40. The second and 10. He threw just 12 interceptions all year long while throwing 22 touchdown passes. Second and 10 for Vanderbilt. That's Scott in motion. Taylor will throw again. Plenty of time, and he zings it out to the near side, completes it out here to Perry. And for Vanderbilt, first and 10 for Vanderbilt from their own 42-yard line. Taylor's going to keep it this time, and he's knocked down after he gains maybe a yard or two on the play. Taylor now on a second and eight from his own 44. Edwards and Jordan, the setbacks. That is Jordan who makes the grab at midfield, breaks the tackle, tries to get a block, but is finally run down. 12.50 left in the first quarter. We're scoreless. First series of downs for Vanderbilt. Air Force had to punt. Nobody left in the backfield now for Whit Taylor. He wants to throw it again. That's Matthews in motion, the All-American tight end. He shovels it inside to Matthews. He runs through two tacklers and gets down to the 35-yard line. And at second and three. Edwards, the lone setback in the Vanderbilt backfield. And he gets the call up the middle, runs into trouble, and he's buried. Third and two, Vanderbilt comes out in the power eye, but don't let that confuse you. They'll throw from this formation. Taylor this time gives it off to Edwards. Didn't make it, but there's a flag down on the play. It's offside against Air Force. Roach is flanked wide to the left side. Taylor to throw, and he hits his man Jordan inside the 20. He may take it all the way in for the touchdown. Vanderbilt with Norman Jordan. Norman Jordan takes it in for the touchdown. The extra point is good. Ricky Anderson adds the extra point, and Vanderbilt with their first possession, driving 75 yards for the touchdown. They lead over Air Force 7 to nothing, and we will return to Legion Field in Birmingham for more of the Hall of Fame Bowl. There is Ricky Anderson getting set to kick off for Vanderbilt. They have just scored to take the lead 7 to nothing. He booms it down to Dennis Moore of Air Force at the two-yard line. Moore with a seam, but it closed in a hurry, and he's run down at Air Force now with Louthen barking the signals. There is Kirshner, big hole over the left side. He's across the 30 into the secondary. He is run down by Manny Young. First bowl appearance for Air Force since 1971. Air Force with a first and 10. This is Kirshner again as he rides forward for about three yards. And they send Dennis Moore wide to the top of your screen, Kirby wide to the bottom. Louthen giving it to Kirshner for the third straight play, and that time he went nowhere. They come at it in the wishbone. Louthen will throw off of it. Out of his backfield, a tremendous catch near the 45-yard line. I don't know if that will be enough for the first down. So the Falcons with Ken Hatfield gambling early. Fourth and inches from their own 43. Louthen keeps the ball himself, and he's got the first down and more as he crosses midfield to the Vanderbilt 45-yard line. The 46-yard line. And a whistle and apparently too much time. That's the call, delay of game. They're back inside their own territory at the 49-yard line. Louthen on a straight drop back, tries the quarterback draw, but he's nailed from behind. He tried to get outside, and John Clemens, the defensive end. But they have stuck with it. They're three linebackers playing pretty solid. They lost two on the play. Second and long, the inside handoff goes to Kirshner. He runs over a couple of folks. The only loss in their last eight was to the number one team of the nation, Georgia. Third and 11 for Air Force. Louthen still has it himself, and he is snowed under as he crosses the original line of scrimmage. Look at Kubiak, there is Manny Young, number 32. Kubiak hangs it high again. Fair catch called for by Young, and he takes it at his own 15-yard line. Vanderbilt out of the wishbone of their own this time, and Whit Taylor spins and keeps it. Now he pitches it back. Big yardage on the near side, and close to a first down for Alama Matthews. 14 touchdowns, with, which set a Southeastern Conference record. Keith Edwards, the lone setback now on first down. Taylor to the air, and he hits his man Jordan over the middle. Near the 35, and he had over 34 of them set this year. It's been a great year for them. 
Inside handoff, this time to Edwards, fumbles the football, and I think Air Force has it, they do. Steve Kelly comes away with it. 4.48 left, first quarter, 7-0 Vanderbilt. Lauvin keeps the ball himself, and he's wrapped up and dropped for a loss on the play. In the field goal department, second and 10 for Lauvin. He's going to throw it on second down. Flips it out of his backfield, completes it to Greenwood. He has a blocker, but he's wrapped up from behind. Looked like they were getting something going. Offense. Second down. Well, they're out of the wishbone. Marty Lawton will see his arm on this play. Remember, he likes to go deep. And he's doing just that for Greenwood. He's got it at the 20. And he's knocked out of bounds by Manny Young. Maybe he lost the ball in the sun. I have to assume that. I can't think of anything else because he really did look like he went to sleep. Kirshner now, big hole. And he rides it down to the five-yard line. Moore goes wide to the top of your screen. The wishbone formation, they give it to Kirshner. And he's stacked up as he crosses the five-yard line. First and goal. They break the wishbone. Kirshner has it anyway. He's not in. He is about a foot shy. Of it is second and goal. This is Greenwood. Did he break the plane? No call. He is not in. It's third and goal. The wishbone. Lauvin keeps it, and he's in for the touchdown. Marty Lauvin who rushed for 12 touchdowns during the season, adds one more at Vanderbilt now. Some 39 on the season with point afters, and he adds another one on, and we're tied at seven. With 1.16 to go in the first period, Air Force drives in for the touchdown after recovering the Vanderbilt fumble, and the Falcons have tied Vanderbilt. will be back with more. Deep for Vanderbilt, Clay Parker nearest to you, Len Coleman at the top of your screen. They kick the squibber. That ball can take some funny bounces, and it's finally smothered. Clay Parker picked it up, but he was nailed. And they've got some pretty good returners for Vanderbilt, and they wanted to keep it out of their hands. Alama Matthews, the tight end, is in the Vanderbilt backfield out of that wishbone again. With Taylor, now with a quick pass down, and he's got Roach at the 30 before he's knocked up. You can see them shifting once more. How'd you like to be playing defense against this team? It, Every time they come out of the huddle, you feel like you're coming down with a head cold. The draw play this time. Not much running room, but they're able to make it himself. It's Edwards, and he crosses the 40 when he slips and falls. Louis Stevenson replaces him in the lineup. Taylor still has it. He's got single coverage, and that's who he's going to for Rhodes. It's incomplete. He overthrew him. Second and 10 for Vandy, just across their own 45. He's going to try it again through the air. He fakes the shovel pass. They've got a screen set up to the right side, and it's nearly intercepted by Kelly again. And 32 seconds left in the first quarter. We're tied at seven. Vandy has a third and 10 from their own 45. Taylor wants to throw plenty of time, and he gets it to Roach, but he overthrew him and missed him. The snap is good, and Arnold really nails it. Boy, does he hang it high. And it takes an Air Force bounce and goes into the end zone, so they'll get the touchback from their own 20. Lauthan gives it to Kirshner. This time he runs into trouble in the person of Joe Staley, who met him head on. And there is the gun. That is the end of the first quarter. Vanderbilt and Air Force are all tied at seven apiece. The sixth annual Hall of Fame horse keeping the football, turns the corner, and he's near his own 30. A pickup of about eight yards. Big play now, third and one. Air Force in the wishbone. Ted Sunquist is in there, and he gets the carry, and uh, he's, I think he's got the first down. He does have the first down. Well, they've still got Kirshner out of the game. I don't know if Staley hurt him when he hit him with that tackle on first down or not. We'll try to see what's going on with Kirshner. There goes Sunquist. They don't miss a beat when they put him in there. He's in that 4-3 setup that Vanderbilt uses. Second and two. Once again, it's Sunquist. Big hole. And he is tripped up, but he's got the first down. Air Force out of the wishbone. Kirshner back in there at the fullback spot. There he goes. Big hole as he breaks the tackle. Manny Young. Second and one for Air Force at the Vanderbilt 41. And this time they change it up. Greenwood, another big hole. And he isn't hit until he's in the secondary at the 36-yard line. <laughs> First and 10 for Air Force now. They're moving at the Vanderbilt 35. Kirshner again. This time he didn't fool anybody, and he's brought down. Tackles. Out to tight end. He says they can catch the ball, but I haven't seen it yet. Of course, they haven't tried it all year. 
Kirshner again on the inside handoff. He's to the 30-yard line. They come out of the wishbone from the Vanderbilt 30-yard line. Kirshner breaks a tackle, and he's about a foot short of the first down. That's exactly right, and that's why there's so many fumbles involved in wishbone offense. Here they go, fourth and short. Kirshner has the first down. So first down at the 24-yard line. Kirshner breaking tackles all over the place. Staley finally hit him hard enough to bring him down. They're making all the tackles. Out of the wishbone, second and five. Louthen keeping it, pitching it back. This time, great block on the far side. It is an Air Force touchdown. Mike Brown gets the score. Ken, I couldn't tell who threw the block. I think it was Kirby. That was Marcus Greenwood. What a block. Great run by Mike Brown. Pavlich out of Zollinger's hold. He converts it. It's 14 to 7 Air Force. Nobody was talking about Greenwood before the game, but he's caught a big pass to set up their first touchdown. He throws a great block here. So with 9.04 left in the first half, Air Force leads Vanderbilt by a touchdown. They lead seven or 14 to seven. Mateos kicking off for Air Force, a squib kick fielded at about the 20 by one of the up men, breaking a tackle, crossing the 35 yard line. First down for Vandy, they operate from their own 33. They couldn't move the football the last time. Edwards is the lone setback. Taylor will throw. Down the middle they go. It's Matthews at the midfield stripe. But he gets in there. Back to the action. Taylor to throw. He's got it again. That's Jordan at the 40 of Air Force. Another first down. Well, they're going to work. Air Force leading at 14 to 7. Kevin Slayton along with Ken Willard. Glad to have you with us. Happy New Year to everyone out there watching. Taylor. He releases it to Jordan at the 30 before he is brought down. Taylor will throw to just about everybody that has a gold jersey on. Second and five from the Air Force 30. He's going to throw it again. He's got Edwards, and he finds him. Edwards all alone on the sideline. Stanbury finally chases him out of bounds. Roach wide to the near side as Taylor goes to the air again. He looks for the end zone for Roach. Touchdown! Vanderbilt comes back and strikes quickly. He Anderson on for the conversion attempt, and he bangs it home. We're all 21 left in the first half and this game is all it's been built as and set to kick off Dennis Moore is deep for Air Force and Anderson really steps into it Moore retreats into his own end zone about three yards deep and he brings it out he's got a seam on the near side and he's run out of bounds at about the 27 he considers, considers himself an underdog coming into this ball game he even went so far as to say he thought Air Force was hand-picked so that Vanderbilt could get a victory a tremendous defensive play by Clemens. Sunquist is in at the fullback spot replacing Kirshner. And that is Sunquist who gets the call, but he doesn't get very far. Colonel Terry Isaacson. He's flying out of the San Antonio Air Force Base for the Air Force. 629 left. Lowden still has it. Look at him run with a football short of the first down, but not by much. And for the Air Force, and he can give it a ride. He doesn't get all of this one. Fair catch called for down at the 30-yard line. Tied at 14, Air Force and Vanderbilt. 5.55 left, first half. Vandy with a first down at their own 31. Taylor setting up the screen, but he wisely threw it away. Alama Matthews, the All-American tight end, is in the slot near to you as Taylor throws on second and 10. He's in trouble, gets it away, and hits Jordan. Stanbury makes the tackle, but that's... Very glad he got into that situation right now. Third and one. He's going to throw it. He's got his man, Scott, complete for the first down. 5-41, Vanderbilt at their own 48. Edwards and Jordan, the setbacks. Taylor's going to throw, though. He's not kidding anybody. There is Jordan. He's got it. He's hit, breaks the tackle, and he's run down finally. It is second and one, a pickup of nine. Vanderbilt inside Air Force territory. Down the middle for Matthews, a diving catch. Did he make it? We've got a flag down on the play. And I believe it's going to go against Air Force. Face mask. Air Force took the lead 14-7. That got Vanderbilt mad. They came back to tie it at 14. And they're moving for another one. 
On first down, Taylor will throw plenty of time, and he completes it to Jordan. He's hemmed in on the near side. What do you do to stop him, Ken? I know you put pressure on the passer, but is there anything else they can do? Well, exactly one thing you do. You come up and start really knocking their helmets off. There's a man wide open. It's Perry at the 10. He's wrestled down over there. They're on the move. First down at the 11, out of the wishbone. Taylor still has the football. Now he pitches it back to Jordan. He slips and falls over there on the far side. Done a tremendous job in turning around the football forces. Their fans told me in the hotel, we're hungry. We haven't been to a bowl in a long time. Taylor's going to throw it on second down into a crowd. It's intercepted on the far side. Jedanay. Jedanay comes away with it. They wanted him to handle the football. Kirshner on the inside handoff. Everybody's over there. Staley's over there. Okay. The key is how many yards they pick up on this particular down. Second and seven. The sure thing. Kirshner stumbles for about three yards. Air Force has just come up with a big interception by Carl Jedene. Lowden still has the football, and he's wrestled down short of the first down. The ball is loose. I don't know. I think they've marked it down. Let's wait and see. That'll help you, won't it? He gets it off and drives Manny Young back to his 43-yard line. And he's taken down on the far side over there for Air Force. First down for the Commodores. Taylor will throw again. Down the middle he goes, and it's knocked away by Jedene. Second and 10 for Vanderbilt. Taylor's going to throw it again. Wanted to go down the middle. Now he's in trouble, and he's going to go down. The Wings of Blue won their 16th national championship in the last 18 years last night out in Arizona, so congratulations. wonder why we didn't play that. And third and 14. I'm deathly afraid, that's why. Taylor down the middle, he goes. He's got Scott wide open. Scott moving to the near side, and he's finally run out of bounds. But it's a first down for Vanderbilt. 104 left, first down, Vanderbilt at the Air Force 28. Taylor's going to throw again. Here comes the rush. Flag is down. He fires it down the middle for Scott again. It's incomplete. And when you see a flag around the line here. Offsetting penalties. Holding against Vanderbilt. 57 seconds left. It's first and 10 again. With Taylor to throw it. Now he throws downfield. He's got Roach at the five-yard line. They don't spend much time in the huddle when they call a timeout. They didn't call a timeout. They, they allowed for him to move the chain up. All right. First and goal. On the first down, the chains move. Thrown for the touchdown, and it's Jordan. Norman Jordan has his second touchdown catch of the afternoon. And Anderson on for the conversion out of Zollinger's hole, and he drills it through. Vandy leaves Air Force 21 to 14. And we've had some fireworks here in the first half with many more to come. Nearly 80,000 on hand at Legion Field in Birmingham. They call it the football capital of the South. Through 14 points. Anderson stepping into it, a line drive kick. Moore will not field this one. It goes into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. We never get our pictures up there. Well, that's all right. Marty Lothman to throw. Good time, he sets up the screen to Greenwood. Good block on the far side. Another man missed his block. And he is smashed to the ground. If they make that block, he's going to get about 25 more yards. Nobody else was over there. Louthen keeps it himself, makes a great move. He's got some running room and gets out of bounds at the 38-yard line with 19 seconds left. Here we go. First down for, Van uh, for Air Force from their own 37. Vandy dropping back in deep coverage. Louthen down the middle for Kirby. Nearly intercepted. He threw it a little bit high. Well, you know, Air Force broke 21 of their own school records. Louthen will throw, and he fires it out to the near side. Simmons, did he get out of bounds? Yes, he did. Third down. Keep that in mind for Air Force. They need to pick up three. Louthen will throw the football. Wants to go deep. The alley-oop. He's got three men down there, and it falls incomplete. That's the end of the first half at any rate. Vanderbilt leaves Air Force 21-14. Second underway in the second half of the Hall of Fame Bowl. Air Force kicking off. That is Clay Parker with the return, but he has trouble and gets only back to his 15-yard line. Whit Taylor has had a sensational first half, hitting on 19 of 26 passes for 253 yards, and he's going to work again. 
Down the middle he goes. Edwards can't find the handle on game of mission, all right. They better not let Vanderbilt score the outset of this third quarter. Second and ten with Taylor. To no one's surprise, going to pass. Now shovels it off to Edwards. And it was some great second effort. He gets about nine. Use it till it stops working. Third down. Three for the first. And he's got it. And there's Jordan as he adds to his record. Nice move. Now he's run down. Vanderbilt with a first down at the 31. The Commodores on the attack. Air Force has to stop them defensively. With Taylor for Perry. He's got it in midfield. Run out of bounds by Chuck Peterson. The Commodores in Air Force territory at the 49. Anytime you give any quarterback in the country that much time to throw, he's going to pick you apart. Opening of the third quarter, 21-14. Vanderbilt leading. There's Jordan. Catch number 11 for him. And better than 250 yards. That was all in the first half. And he's coming back for more. Out of the wishbone they go. Don't let that fool you, though. With Taylor has it, and he's brought down from behind a fine defensive play that time. Third and five. You can almost bet they'll go back to the air here. Jordan and Edwards are the setbacks, but they'll quickly become receivers. Taylor down the middle. He wanted to go to Jordan, also in the pattern. And look, you can hear the core cadets. He didn't get a very good kick. He shanked it off the side of his foot. And as the official walks up the sideline, he finally stops at the 33-yard line. Because Air Force ready to strike from their own 33. Lauthen gives to the first man through Kirshner, and he barrels for about four or five. Only the second running back to go over the 1,000-yard rushing mark in a season at Air Force. Lauthen gives it to him again, and he's met immediately this time. Third and five in what most teams would consider a passing situation. The Falcons come out in the wishbone. Lauthen gives it to Kirshner, and he barrels over the right side. He's close, but he may be a little short. Hey, they're going to go for it on fourth down. I'm surprised. I cannot say this is the move I would make if I were coaching that ball club at this point. That shows you the respect they have for Vanderbilt's offense. Sunquist in there at fullback. He gets it first down and then some. Across midfield, the big guy barreling. But you know, that type of thing either makes you coach of the year or you look <laughs> for a new job. Well, they've gone for the first down three times on fourth down a minute. Now on first down, they throw, and he's got his man Kirby at the 35-yard line. Matthews was there to make the tackle. About 30 balls during the regular season. Now from the flex bone. And that is Sunquist over the left side, but he doesn't get very far. Second and eight for Air Force from the 33 of Vanderbilt. They trail by seven. Lawton will throw. He's got his man wide open. It's Moore. First down inside the 20. Dennis Moore with again, what a superb athlete. Marty Lawton, the quarterback at Air Force. Great runner. You can see when he throws. Puts something on it. Sunquist up the gut. He's to the 10-yard line. So they're not your basic Larry Zonka types. There goes Kirshner to the five-yard line. O'Connor made the hit. He's, he's taking over everything. <laughs> Laufen, a flag is down. It looked like an Air Force perhaps jumped. Indeed, it was against Air Force, and it will cost them five. But still, they come out on the wishbone. Nearly 80,000 on hand. Lavin calls the same play. Gets about three yards. 3.4. Has a 3.4 grade average. Second and seven for Air Force from the Vanderbilt seven. Kirschner up the middle. Down to the one. And now they're going for the tying touchdown. Lavin still has it. And Clements makes a big play. Who's 15 of 18, including a 57-yarder against Notre Dame, which was a school record. So out of Zollinger's hold, Sean Pavlich will attempt to make it a four-point game. He drills it through the upright. So Air Force gets on the board first in the second half, and more importantly, they eat up some clock. And with 6.39 left in the third quarter, Vanderbilt is still ahead, but Air Force is coming back. 21-17. Coach, well, you're digging, that we showed you earlier. You're digging your way out of that hole real well. They're both good-looking guys. At his own goal line, this is Coleman for Vanderbilt. And he's got a big hole down the middle. He runs into his own man, and Pavlich helped out. They opened the third quarter with it, and Air Force was able to hold him. With Taylor goes to the air once more. Big rush coming down. He'll go. There's a flag down on the play. And let's wait and see what it's all about. Uh, Alamo Matthews' jersey, and it was. Now that one was called against Carl Jedine. 
look at the formation <laughs> moving around. <laughs> it looks like a fire drill out there. With Taylor on the draw, the Edwards. It's second and eight now for Vanderbilt. From their own 49, Matthews in motion. Taylor will throw. Wants to go for Scott. Great pass and catch. Scott has it. He's down at the 21-yard line. Jedinay was back there. 5.07 left, third quarter. Vandy leads it by four, 21-17. Taylor will throw again. Look at the time he's got. Edwards has it in the flat. He's in trouble but makes five yards out of it, maybe six. Vanderbilt now threatening, knocking on the door at the Air Force 16. Taylor to throw again. He gets rid of it and he completes it to Jordan. Makes a nice move and gets the first down inside the 10. There's no midfield play in this one. 21-17, the Commodores by four. Taylor to the air for the touchdown to Taylor. touchdown catch but there's a flag on the play yeah it's a great catch holding against Vanderbilt all right first down still goal from the 13 now though makes it a little bit tougher Taylor rolling out throws for the end zone and it's intercepted in the end zone Don Smith and Air Force has come up with another turnover deep in their own territory. When an Air Force has it first and 10 from their own 20, they trail by four. Lauvin still has the football, runs into trouble, and down he goes. They've also fumbled the football. Three turnovers for Vandy today. Lauvin's going to throw on second and 11. He's in trouble. He gets rid of it to Brown. Brown cuts back and makes a nice move to get to the 25-yard line. But with the ball, their eyes light up. Third and six, big play, the pitch to Brown, great block on the far side. He's not gonna get that first down. Matthews made the play on the far side. They've got everybody up, Vanderbilt's got everyone up. Now they're holding him up. Bad snap, Kubiak still gets it away and does a great job. And he gets a good roll of the football. All the way to the Vandy 45 yard line. And I'll tell you, that's what you call thinking under pressure. It's his team leads, but only by four, 21 17, with 114 left in the third quarter. They have it first and 10 at their own 45. Now they're going to go to the running game. No, Taylor still has it. He sure faked me out. And Scott has the catch at the 35 yard line. That was some nifty ball work. They're going out of the wishbone. And he gives it to the first man through. Believe it was Edwards. Matthews in motion. Taylor will throw. Gets a little pressure. Wings it out for Roach. She's got it at the eight-yard line. Peterson was back there defending. Taylor now on first and goal from the seventh. Still has it, pitches it back to Scott, and he's run down on the far side by Jedine. Caught a third, but it was nullified by a holding penalty. Second and goal from the four, Taylor's gonna throw it. Back the other way he goes, touchdown, and it was Norman Jordan. You can see it all the way. Norman Jordan comes in and gets up in a wing formation. Bringing in his own number. Ricky Anderson on for the extra point, and he makes it 28 to 17. Vanderbilt now by 11. And how big was that procedure penalty against Air Force when they had first and goal at the Vandy five? There were four touchdown passes for 379 yards. Anderson stepping into it. This is Moore waiting at his own one. And he's in trouble and buried as he crosses the 17 yard line. Air Force needs to sustain some momentum. They need to move the football from their own eight. And that's the man that usually can do it. Kirshner barreling over the 10. They lead by 11 at the end of the third quarter. When we return to Birmingham, we've got 15 minutes left in the Hall of Fame Bowl. Marty Louthen, the quarter. He's had a great day, both passing and running the football, and he's going to throw it this time. Down the middle, a diving catch by Kirby. It's still loose. Did he catch the football? No, they're going to rule it incomplete. And Ken Willard, I want to see, see that, that again. again. I want to see that one again. Uh, we get a chance to look at the replay. Kirby was running a post pattern. Now he makes a beautiful diving catch. He's down, but the ball pops up immediately. Now it starts to get picked up. 
by Matthews. He kicks it in the air and goes right to the little guy, Mike Brown. Gee, I don't know about that one. I, d I know about it. It never hit the ground. This is Greenwood at the 30. Makes a nice move up to the 40. What they call on the play, they call the catch good by Kirby and down at that point. First down for the Falcons now. Lawson looking sharp when he's going to the air. Out of the wishbone. Down the middle he goes, and he overshot his man, Dennis Moore, at the 45 of it. Keeps it himself, now pitches it back. Nice pitch to Moore, or to Brown, I should say, and he's run out of bounds at midfield. They're still in the wishbone now. First down. And Lawson's going to the air. Down the sideline he goes, nearly intercepted by Mark Brown. Lawson to the air. Here comes the rush. He gets rid of it to Greenwood. The screen is set up. Greenwood with some great running. All individual skill as he gets to his own 33, and a flag is dropped. I mean, Tony Reno missed his block completely. Marty Lawson passed for over 247 yards. Out of the wishbone, Air Force operating. Kirby, the only wide receiver. That's Kirshner. He's not going anywhere. Wade was there. There is George McIntyre. He wants to see what's going on. Inside the Sunquist. He's, he's heading for the end zone, and he's run out of bounds by Young at the three. Lawson passing. He's hit 11 of 17 for 136 yards today. First and goal inside. Touchdown for the Air Force. It was Sunquist that got the call. Now they're going for two. 12.45 left in the game, and we've got a flag. One's prayers watching this game to Derek Foster, the tailback. They're going for it from the 13-yard line. Two delay of game penalties in a row. Lawson's going to put it up under heavy pressure. Gets rid of it for Greenwood. It's incomplete. Again, not that big of, a, of an incompletion because they're still down by five. Right. And when we return, there will be 12.45 left. The five-point lead for Vandy. If they came back and Air Force scored, then Vanderbilt would have to come back, and they'd have to make a two-point conversion to beat them or either try to tie them. And, of course, in this type of ball game, 12.42 left. Still plenty of time. With Taylor at the controls for Vandy. He's going to throw deep on first down, and it's intercepted. Jedinay has it at the Vanderbilt 40. <laughs> he's back to the 20 before he's run down. And give credit to the Air Force pass rush. They finally got the Taylor and Preston. First down for Air Force at the 21. There's the big guy, Sunquist, barreling up the middle. Kirschner now is over the 100-yard mark with 103 yards, and he's going for more inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. When you know Kirschner is going to be coming at you, and he still churns out the yardage. There he goes again to the 5. He's got to get that quarterback every time. You've got to get inside help for that fullback. And there goes Kirshner carrying bodies with him to about the three. Perhaps he got to the two-yard line. Big, strong guys. And Smith, Reno, and Shrek are doing a great job. Third down. Kirshner fighting for the goal line. He found it. They give it to him. John Kirshner has given Air Force the lead with 10 minutes and 12 seconds left. Now they're going for two again. Lawson, he wants to throw a pressure on him. He fires, it's intercepted by Manny Young. <laughs> so that ends that threat. Although Air Force still has the lead, they don't get the two-point conversion, but they've got the lead. With 10-04 left, they lead it by one. As you said, that could be a big play. The way it's going, Air Force leading 29-28. Carlos Mateo steps into it. And down at the two-yard line, here come the Vanderbilt Commodores with Coleman. Or check that, make it Clay Parker, and he gets a good run back. He had to move 21 yards that time. Go back and run that little short pop offense. With Taylor now on first and 25 because the clip occurred after the play was blown dead. That's a big play. Jordan slides to make the catch at the 24-yard line. Air Force will run the football. Second and 18. Again, that penalty coming after the play had been blown dead, and that makes a big difference. Matthews in motion. Taylor will throw. Plenty of time. Now he 
gets rid of it and hits Edwards down the middle to about the 35-yard line. It'll still be a third and eight. When that occurred this time on a low pass, the referee dropped his flag. So you can set him up. With Taylor now on first down. He's going to throw again. No surprise, is it? He screens it outside to Jordan. Got a good block on the outside, and he dives inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. Another first down for Vanderbilt. Taylor now to the air once more. Plenty of time again. Now the protection breaks down. He's in trouble, and he's run out of bounds on the far side. Tom Stanberry. He's hit on 32 of 43 passes today, and he's gone for more. He was hit as he threw the ball that time. Third and 11 for Vandy. Big play. Taylor picks Jordan out, but he's drilled on the far side, and it was Jedene who nailed him short of the first down. Well, they're going to bring on Ricky Anderson. There he is, the place kicker number 96. 14 field goals in 22 attempts. A school record at Vanderbilt. And he'll hit this one from the 40-yard line, or about the 39, so make it a 49-yard attempt. And it would put Vanderbilt in the lead. A high snap and a low kick, and it is no good. Air Force maintains the lead. It's a very happy one right now for the Air Force Academy, if they can hold on. The inside handoff to Kirshner, and he barrels his way for about three or four. They want to kill some time. They nearly missed on the exchange. Kirshner spinning forward to about the 40, 250, 253, and 240. Third and three. Lofton pitches it back to Greenwood, turns the corner, first down at the 45. And a big first down with 5.45 left. There goes Kirshner, and he picks up five or six. 31 times they've given that ball to the fullback for nearly 200 yards. And there goes Sunquist, who just carried it for the 11th time. Four and a half minutes left. And they go to the bread and butter, and they stop him short. Whit Taylor would have 346 left in the game. He doesn't need that much time to drive it down. Lowden still has it. He's got a first down, and he might be gone. Mark Matthews is chasing him. He's going to score. I oh, told you I'd go for it. You did. You did. You should have been coaching. <laughs> 46 yards. Marty Lowden is being mobbed in the end zone. They lead by seven. Pavlich on for the conversion. They lead by eight. 36 to 28. And I tell you, folks around the country have to be stunned. 338 left. Mateos to kick off. He kicks the squib kick. It's bounding around, and I think Air Force has it. They do. And I think it's Pashishniak. Mateos drilled a low grounder, and that's a tough one to handle. 334 left. They're giving it to Kirshner. No chances being taken. If they gain any more yards, Pavlich probably wouldn't have much of a problem booting it through. Kirshner took the handoff. Lawson took an extremely hard hit. And my line very concerned for Vanderbilt. The pitch comes back out of the hands of Marty Lawson. They don't get the first down. So it's going to be a 49-yard attempt for Pavlich. And he missed it. He missed it to the left side. Well, it's 2.35 left. Whit Taylor now with his offensive machine out there. Not much question what they're going to do. Plenty of time to throw. Now he delivers it, and he's got Jordan, and he's out of bounds at the 42-yard line. They don't have a first down. It's second and one. He fires it out for Jordan again. Still alive, and now knocked out of bounds by Dwan Wilson. Down his two decisions to go for two-point conversions when an extra point kick would have won the game. Of course, that's all conjecture at this point. They've got an eight-point lead. Taylor, his protection starting to break down. Flag is down, and now he completes it to Edwards, a diving catch at the 41, but I think they'll bring it back. It's illegal use of the hand. He's thrown four touchdown passes, three of them to Norman Jordan who's caught 18 passes. My goodness. Scott hauls it in at the midfield stripe, and he's pulled to the ground. Don Smith brought him down. 
that time Air Force was down and, and they control the ball nine minutes more there is Jordan with his 19th catch Taylor under pressure nearly threw another interception Don Smith was waiting there their secondaries picked off three they haven't gotten to Taylor here they come now a diving catch by Norman Jordan and what a way to pull in your 20th grab of the day but Air Force thinks he's short of the first down but can he could have committed the cardinal sin by not running his pattern deep enough he did not and Air Force has the football and with a minute 27 left this is their first bowl appearance and they're not going to do anything dangerous Lauvin is just going to take it to the turf Lauvin just goes down Kirshner covers him what a duo they have been today this will be the last play of the game I imagine that Derek Foster, they're counting it down. The Air Force Academy has their first bowl victory. The 1982 Hall of Fame Bowl is theirs, 36 to 28 over Vanderbilt. And we'll be back to Birmingham to recap it after this.